So choosing your career is a huge decision. Right now in America, there's booming industries like artificial intelligence and data science. We've got an amazing student from Northeastern University who's going to share tips about these industries and help you figure out, are these the right things for you and how to get into them? Check it out. Hey friends, welcome to Shine Coaching. I'm Rob. And we love helping people be successful in their cross-cultural journeys, especially in their careers, finding jobs, and getting in that sweet spot for their work. And we're going to be talking about data science, artificial intelligence. We have Vishali, who's going to share about her career journey and some tips, especially for students who want to get into these kind of jobs. Vishali, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, hi, Rob. First of all, I would like to thank for this opportunity and uh, inviting me for your platform. So really, really very happy to be here. So my name is Vaishali and uh, I did my master's in the computer engineering from Northeastern University. And currently I work as a functional or the technical consultant at Global Financial Institute in emerging technology space specifically work in data management, advanced analytics, machine learning, AI, and blockchain. And uh, yeah, looking forward to share more of my knowledge in this particular space. Yeah, all those things are huge, big buzzwords, especially in the tech world, data science, blockchain, AI, machine learning. Those are all fun things that these top degrees that people are coming to America for, you have some amazing experience with. But let's just jump in with this first question. Why a career in artificial intelligence and data science? Why should people consider this? Haven't you heard this word like, you know, everywhere now in every industry is talking about? Yeah, AI, it's a very big space and with a lot of good opportunities and pay. So I would say a lot more in demand now and hopefully we will see it growing more in near future as well. And as people talk about a lot more AI driven world, so it can be one of the most dominating fields in upcoming years. So definitely it's why career in AI? You don't have to ask that question anymore. You have to build your career in AI. This is what companies are looking for. This is what technologies are being built upon. And there's so many opportunities and just scope for this into the future. But what are some of the necessary skills to get into these fields, especially for freshers or people that are just kind of starting their journey? I would say, you know, uh, the way this field is evolving rather than immediately talking about skills, I would first mention some of the qualities that you need to be in this field. So number one quality that I would say you need is being open to new learnings. Um, it is very important because as I said, this field is very evolving. So you have to be ready to learn and be open to learn new skills adapt certain skills, and at the same time, unlearn certain old ways of learning as well. So this is very important quality to be in this field. Number two, I would say flexible actually. So that is also very important quality to be in, to be in this field. And in short, if I have to say uh, the most important quality or the single term to be in this field is always curious uh, to be in this field. So these are some of the qualities if you are looking to build your career in this particular space. As this AI space is very big, um, you must decide your track actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we think about the track, um, you have to decide whether you would like to be on the business side, uh, working more with the business, like you know, data strategies, management, governance, data security, decision making, et cetera or ethics for that matter, and uh, whether you would like to completely align yourself on the technology side and work with learning and developing different platforms and programming languages, building models, developing front end, entire pipeline from you know, back end to front end, or moreover, like a middleware person, uh, figure out you know, uh, whether you want to have that balance between both technology and the business and would like to understand both the sides. So it's about like, you know, exploring and figuring out which track is easy for you to get into uh, or to start your career in this particular data science and AI space. And also if you are looking more or like particular books or courses or material, uh, I would say you can follow my podcast actually, hashtag Soul Lead Saturday, where we have covered a lot of AI leaders 
and uh, see what people are talking about this space and what are the high demand skills in this particular space. Also, there is a lot more material available free of cost or open source. So you can just Google with you know buzzwords or the keywords and start exploring. So nothing is going to stop you to start your career in this particular space, but it's more or like a proactive and start exploring by yourself. And we'll have the link in the video description to connect with Veshali's podcasts. And I love how these skills that you mentioned less were technical and were more just soft skills, you know, being yeah. teachable, being open-minded and being a problem solver. Uh, and those are things that are so important in the workplace in America. People just focus on technical skills, but soft skills are so important as well. Now, Vishali, let's talk about, you know, comparing academic experience versus real experience. Mm -hmm. And why does that matter in this industry? <laughs> I think, you know, this is a topic of debate, debate I guess, uh, whether it is academic experience over the real experience. Um, I would say you learn with a lot more different institutions apart from these two as well like you know you travel you uh, collaborate you talk to different people you network so that is also one of the you know great experiences that you get and you learn from those as well but talking specifically about these two uh, mm -hmm. according to me actually at uh, seeing my experience so far I think both are uh, important to me but in academics when it comes to uh, pursuing the higher degrees like you know masters or phd programs it is a lot more self interest and self study so nobody is going to spoon feed you like you know your high school or the college so you must decide how you can expand your circle and do more projects work volunteer network outside your class or college or university etc so that is something important aspect while taking that academic experience uh, real experiences teach you a lot not only on the personal strengths or weaknesses but about professional growth as well and those are important uh, aspects learning more about you know organization business processes collaborations presenting yourself in front of the senior stakeholders communication, both written and verbal, et cetera. So it includes like all kinds of dynamics, but again, in professional life too, it's up to you how you see an opportunity versus problems or, mm. or it is applicable in academic experience too, as well, like on how you see an opportunity versus problems. So it's very important that you have that approach or attitude of finding an opportunity rather than only like, you know, seeing that as a problem. You guys, if you're loving this video and getting some great value, uh, give a big like and thumbs up to say thanks to Vishali. And our chai question for you guys is, what industry do you want to work in? Let us know in the comments. Tell us what industry or kind of job role that you're excited about, you're trying to get into. Share that in the comments with us. Vishali, what kind of tips or advice would you give now to students who are studying right now in their undergrad or master's who want to get into it? AI or data science? The best advice I received Rob, when I was a student it was like, you know, explore and experiment. So explore and experiment as much as you can, starting from your early age and manage your time, learn to manage your time effectively and efficiently. Or specifically, if uh, any one of you, like Rob's audience, looking to build your career in AI, it's applicable there too. So explore so that you will understand different areas or subfields within this particular data science and AI space and uh, focus on that particular track and start your career in this space. Definitely, yeah, there's so much passion and excitement for students who are coming to do analytics, AI, machine learning, data science. There's a lot of competition, a lot of opportunity. And so having the right focus, the right skills, and I love how you talk about experimenting, trying things out, just because other people are doing it doesn't mean that's best for you. So you need to test it out yourself and see if that's is your sweet spot, something that you're good at, you're passionate about, and you can really contribute towards with a company. And then hopefully, you know, people are going to get these jobs, get into these companies. So how can someone grow and become a leader or have leadership in the field of artificial intelligence? <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, I think it is sounding like an advertising again, but I think one more time I would encourage people to listen to my podcast and listen to different AI leaders who appeared on my show and see how they are leading. But uh, 
I would like to just add it, like you know, even though you listen to many people and how they are leading, um, it is more or about you know um, listening others and uh, figuring out your ways of leading from it. So listen to many people, like connect to many people, talk to many people, uh, listen to their thoughts, how they are doing. But when it comes down to taking an action, act as per your own comfort or own way, master it and lead it. So that is the best thing uh, if you want to be a leader in this space. You guys, Michelle and I are actually going to make another video as well about her work experience in different cultures. She's got work in India, New Zealand. America, and she's going to be comparing her different kind of work culture from these different countries. Be sure to check out that video as well. It's another fun one that we're making. And Vishali, thanks so much for reaching out, wanting to share about your experience and your career journey to help guide other people in these kind of amazing fields of AI and data science. Yeah. And thank you so much, Rob, actually, for this, this opportunity where I got an opportunity to share whatever I learned so far. So I'm not very expert, but I'm trying to learn and reach there. So definitely this is a valuable opportunity for me to be on your YouTube and uh, share my knowledge, whatever I have to the students. So really appreciate uh, it and thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I learned a ton. My friends, be sure to check out Vaishali's podcast as well. Again, we'll have the links for that. You're going to Go even deeper into these topics if you want to find out with that. And again, at Shine Coach, we want to help you guys succeed and thrive in your cross-cultural journey, especially your career journey. And so, yeah, we really appreciate you guys being a part of this. Be sure to connect with us online on social media uh, for Shine Coaching and Vishali. Uh, be sure to be subscribed to our newsletter as well for great tips, updates, events, and more ways to learn. And just thanks so much for tuning in. We appreciate you guys. And we'll see you next time at Shine Coaching. Cheers. Thank you.